Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. I hope na yung mga math videos ko ay makakatulong sa inyo in solving word problems or mathematical problems. And maraming salamat po sa inyong suporta. And sana maging masaya lang tayo in solving those kind of problems. Again, salamat and God bless. Hi, good day. This is Teacher Gon. So, sa video natin ngayon, ang gagawin natin ay we will review or we will talk about some of the questions under ng MMC Elimination Round 2019 for Grade 4. This is part 1 of our reviewer video. So, nag namili ako rito ng mga ng apat na questions for us to discuss. And then, para makatulong na rin tayo sa mga Grade 4 math leads natin. So, let's have item number 6 from the MMC Elimination Round 2019. So, the number 6 we have here, find the missing numbers in the pattern. We have 28, 7, 23, 10, 18, and 13. So, as you can see, kung kukunin mo yung pattern nitong number, nitong mga numbers ito, ng sunod-sunod, ay medyo maguguluhan ka kasi wala ka makikita ang pattern. Look at the numbers, 28, and then naging 7, and then naging 23, 20, uh, 10, 18, 13. Ang pinapanap sa atin ngayon ay yung number na nandito ano yung susunod na dalawang number pero kapag kinuha mo siya ng ganitong pagkakasunod-sunod we have 28, 23, 18 as you can see from 28 to 23 hanggang 18 naga minus lang tayo ng 5 minus 5 28 minus 5 is 23 23 minus 5 is 18 therefore to get the, the next number from 18, mag-subtract lang ng 5. Therefore, the number is 13. Na para naman sa mga numbers ito, 7, 10, and 13, kung mapansin nyo, nag-add lang ng 3. Plus 3. So to get the next number, you need to do is mag-add lang tayo ng 13, ng 3 sa 13. Therefore, the number that we are finding is 16. So, the numbers are 13 and 16. That's it for item number 6. Let's go with item number 8. So, for item number 8, we have here A plus A plus B plus B is equal to 14. This is our first equation. Sabi, A plus A plus B plus B is equal to 14. And... A plus A plus A plus B is equal to 13. And then the problem here, we are asked, what is the value of A? Now, this is our first equation. And this will be your second equation. Now, as you can see, in the first equation, we can simplify it. We have here a plus a, which is equal to 2a. And then you have b plus b, that is equal to 2b. And then 14. As you can see, we have here 2a and 2b, which is both divisible by 2. We can factor out 2. That's why you can have 2 times a plus b, that is equal to 14. And then you will divide it by 2. Cancel natin to. So you will have a plus b that is equal to 7. That is the value of a plus b. But we're not yet done. Ang tinatanong kasi sa atin ay yung value ng a. So in the second equation, as you can see, meron tayo ritong a, b. So therefore, pag inad natin to, a plus a, this part, a plus a is 2a plus a plus b b is equal to 13. If you if you can remember, this part, a plus b, is equal to 7. Therefore, we can replace a plus b by 7. The, our next equation will be 2a plus 7 is equal to 13. And then, to find the value of a, ganito yung gagawin natin to manipulate the equation. Mag-subtract lang tayo both sides by 7. So you will have 
2a, ito magiging si na to, is equal to 6. And then divide nyo lang sa 2, you will have a is equal to 3. This is the value of a in problem number 8. Okay, tayo dyan. So let's go with item number 11. <coughs> Excuse me. How many numbers from 1 to 600 are divisible by 4? So, paano ba i-deal yung ganong problem? Alam natin na sa, sa bawat apat na numbers, there are, there is one number na divisible by 4. Right? So, simple lang yung problem na to. Ang gagawin mo lang is you will divide 600 by 4. And then, if you divide 600 by 4, the answer is... I'll write lang natin. 600 all over 4. The answer is simply 150. Therefore, there are 150 numbers from 1 to 600 that are divisible by 4. This is the answer for item number 11. Now, let's go with item number 21. We have here, a science book has 8 chapters. The number of pages in each chapter is given below. What is the median? So, median is a topic under statistics, which is part of central tendency. Medyo ano na to para sa level ng M-toppers nasasali dito. This one is, I think, the tackle or the discuss from grade 6 to grade 7. So, paano ba kunin yung median? Una, ang rule dito you need to arrange the numbers in ascending order or descending order. So, ang gagawin ko rito, I will arrange the number in ascending order mula sa mababa pataas. The first number is 16. Siya yung mababa. Followed by 17. Next, 19. Followed by 21. 23. 29. And 31. Now, uh, may nakalimutan ba ako? Ay, I forgot something. I forgot 26. Followed by 29. And then 31. So, our next thing yung gagawin mo rito is, alamin mo kung yung bilang ba ng number mo or data mo is even or odd. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, meron tayong 8 numbers. Ibig, ibig sabihin, ad, 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 uh, even number siya. So, kukunin mo rito, ang gagawin mo rito, you need to add the two numbers. Yung pinakagitna nila. I think that is 4th and 5th since 8 yung bilang natin. So, we have 21 plus 23. And then, divide it by 2. 21 plus 23 is simply 44 divided by 2. Therefore, the median is equal to 22. This is the median of those numbers. So, kung meron kayo mga questions or request na gusto nyo i-tackle natin sa ating mga YouTube videos, you can comment down below. And again, I am Teacher Gon. Don't forget to like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you.